Hello and uh, welcome back to another edition of Telescope Man. <clears throat> well, today uh, we're going to talk about something that uh, probably doesn't fit into the ham radio hobby, but it's uh, I found a way to use the uh, Google Chromecast device to mirror the screen that you're looking at on that happens to be attached to my desktop to mirror that screen over to a uh, large screen TV that happens to be set up in the ham shack and to do that wirelessly without attaching any uh, more cables and I certainly don't need any more cables in the ham shack so anyway, uh, a lot of you are probably familiar with this device that's up on the screen right now, Google Chromecast, uh, available <laughs> just about everywhere. I uh, noticed they had a stack of them <clears throat> on an end cap in every Walmart I happen to be in over the holidays. And uh, they were going for 24 bucks during the holidays, but I think they're back up to $35 now. So uh, it kind of looks like, as you can see, a flash drive, sort of, uh, but it, uh, it, it's totally different than a flash drive. Uh, you can plug this device into any TV that has an HDMI port on it that's open, and you can cast videos, music, and the desktop uh, over to the TV from your uh, laptop, PC, uh, your phone, your tablet, <clears throat> whatever. So uh, I found that it works really good. I've actually got two of them in the house. I've got one in the den TV and one uh, here in the ham shack on the TV in the ham shack. So while I was fooling around with it, I discovered another use for it. And we're going to show you that tonight. <clears throat> Anyway, what you're looking at right now is the Chrome browser, the Google Chrome browser. That's what you're looking at right now. Uh, and free download. You've got to have that in order to, on your laptop or your PC uh, in order to uh, do what I'm going to show you right now, at least off of a computer. So the, one of the first things you're going to do when you get this device is you're going to have to set it up and it's going to send you to a site uh, to set up this Chromecast for the first time and it's very simple. All you have to do uh, when it asks for it is give it the uh, password or the key to the Wi-Fi network. And once you give it that key then it'll be it, sets itself up on the network uh, without basically you doing anything. So it's very simple to set up once it knows the key. And uh, you can get an add-on for the Chrome browser that you might be running on your laptop or your desktop. I'm running this one on my desktop right now, but I've also got it on my laptop. And you. You get that add-on, and it's going to put this little icon up here in the upper right-hand corner that looks like a little box. That's the Chromecast icon. So how do you go about casting this desktop across the room over to the TV? It's very simple. I'm going to show you. You click the little uh, Google Cast icon. And you get a box. And a lot of people just jump up here and click the device. You can see I've got two devices. I've got one in the den and one in the shack. And I named them. You can do that during setup so you know which one is which. Give it a name. And uh, so most people come down here and they click it or they'll click the options. And I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't notice this <laughs> for several weeks. There's a little bitty down arrow right here in the upper part of this box, right here. And before you click the actual device, if you'll click that first, you get three options. And they are cast this tab, which is 
the tab that we're looking at right now on the screen. Or cast this tab optimize for audio. <coughs> or the third one is the one I want to draw your attention to, and it says cast the entire screen. So we're going to click that right now. And we've clicked that, and now I'm going to select the Shack TV that has one of these devices plugged in the back of it, and I'm going to show you that in a minute. All right, plugs in. And so you click that, and it says, are you sure you want to send everything over there? And of course I do. And you get a little box on the bottom that basically says, I'm sharing your screen, and I can tell it's up there. You can't see it yet, but I'll pull the video camera out and show you that it's actually casting both screens right now. Uh, this screen is being mirrored over to the TV right now, and I can see it. It's identical to this screen, and I've, even though it does say experimental, I've never had a problem with it. Uh, they may call it experimental, but uh, yours truly hadn't ever had a problem with it. It casts uh, the casts anything I want to cast perfectly and uh, without any problems. So, uh, we've cast this screen right now, so the next thing I want to show you is a video. I'm going to switch to a video and show you that it's actually running on both screens. And then I'm going to cast up the Flex Radio screen and show you how it casts the Flex. And I'll cast up a couple of screens of... Uh, digital modes like FL Digi and uh, might do Ham Radio Deluxe and it will mirror those over to the TV. So let's pause right here and uh, I'm going to switch so if you we're back. we're looking at the back of the TV uh, you can see the Chromecast device back there and the little cable right here that actually plugs into the 110 power strip and it also comes with this little small adapter cable because a lot of TVs have the HDMI in a position where you can't uh, possibly get this plugged into it. So they do give you a little extension so that you can run that HDMI port out a little ways, a few inches, and then plug in the Chromecast device. So that's really all there is to it in the back of the TV. Just need to find an open HDMI port and plug it in. Uh, since I'm on an antenna and uh, just doing live TV, uh, cap, you know, on the on the uh, TV, I've got a couple of open ports. So I stuck it in the HDMI one. So now we're on the video, and as you can see, uh, there's the uh, desktop screen, and still got that little picture of the Chromecast device on it. But if we look up here now, that same screen is showing on the TV that's in the uh, ham shack. And if I step over here and kind of close the box on the TV, you can see that the image change to whatever was on the desktop. So it's actually mirror, mirroring the uh, desktop over to the TV set. <clears throat> and what's neat about it is uh, we can crank up, uh, uh, we'll try to crank up uh, the Flex Radio right now. I'll start her up. And there you go, it's just started, and again, you can see it loading up on the TV. And now I'll, I'll start it by clicking the start button right up here. And I'm on 15 meters right now, I doubt whether there'll be anything... Uh, <coughs> doubt whether there'll be anything on there but anyway the uh, flex is running uh, right now and uh, you can see that it's there and again it's it's right up there 
and you can see the uh, pan adapter up there you can see the signals on both uh, TVs no problem it works and not only does it work with flex <coughs> let me shut that down now I'll shut the flex off I'll come over here and open up uh, I'm actually opening it on the uh, desktop but you're looking at the TV right now I'm gonna open up FL Digi we'll run that <coughs> And there it is on the TV and uh, of course you can read the signals and everything else in the uh, signal viewer so that works no problem uh, <coughs> shut that shut that off and we'll open up JT 65 and again uh, it's on both screens no problem and of course ham radio deluxe ham radio deluxe works the same way we'll crank that up for you right here and you can see it's loading up there it is on the screen and there it is up on the TV and we can we can maximize it to full screen if we want so kind of a neat deal uh, that you can use for ham radio if you want to throw it up on a big screen and not run wires or you may have a big screen that's mounted on the wall you know and you don't want to drape wires off of it down the wall or something you can use this Chromecast device to uh, mirror the desktop or the laptop over to a big 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 monitor our TV screen anyway that's all I had for you tonight just a neat little geek thing geeky thing to do to play with on the Chromecast uh, device by Google anyway as I always say keep looking up to see the greatest show on earth right over your head every single night clear skies 73 See y'all later.